Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. I post videos twice a week recently, so make sure you're subscribed. It's freezing in my house, you guys. It's literally so cold. It's like rainy outside. I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can. Cloudy and rainy outside. Today, I wanted to do a little day in my life as a communications major, advertising major, whatever, senior in college, something of the sort. Why do I feel like I'm not in focus? Hello? Or is it just like dark? I I have a few things planned today. First of all, I have to clean my room. Second of all, I have to run some errands. I have school and my internship today. If you guys are new, I am a senior in college. I am about to graduate this spring. My major is communications with an emphasis in advertising. I have an internship with a media company. Basically what I do is I do call rails, negative keywords, kind of just like helping like search terms, brand analysis, video editing, kind of all over the the realm so it's really fun and I really like it and I'm really happy with it I have also a class today at 2 30 it is my children's television class that's not really a part of the major I guess it kind of is it's kind of like a section requirement like my my d4 or whatever it is I need in order to graduate so it's kind of just like random a little bit but it's still very interesting and still applies to my major a little bit there's a few connections with it right now I'm wearing a Chico sweatshirt I'm repping Chico State my mom went there and I was also thinking about going there for a little bit when I was in high school. You are from Chico. Make sure to comment down below and let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this room. You guys, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little raggedy Ann right now. First of all, my hair has been getting greasier faster. Don't really know why. I'm really pale. Don't have any self tan on. I didn't take off my mascara last night. So I have day old crusty waterproof mascara. Okay, so I decided to change sweatshirts because it's raining right now, meaning um, I need a hoodie. Did that, I'm just finishing up my skincare. I accidentally put this on my skin when I really didn't mean to. This is the CeraVe resurfacing retinol serum that I swear by it helps so much with the acne scars if that's something that you struggle with. Normally you should only put this on your face in, at night because if the sun gets to your face, it'll darken the spots instead of healing them. Good thing it's cloudy, doesn't mean the sun's not there, but I can put a little SPF on it and it'll be fine. So I guess I forgot to tell you guys like basically what's new in my life. Um, as you guys know, or if you've been like a follower for a while, um, I did the 21 day challenge by Bologilates and I actually really enjoyed it. I felt more of a difference than I did see a difference. I didn't really like see anything, but I probably also wasn't eating the best I should be eating or I should have been eating. So it was fun and I actually completed it and that was something that was like really fun for me to complete. So I I looked up this girl. Actually, I just saw her video on my recommended YouTube channel or YouTube page. I'll tell you her name right now. Lexi Harrod. She's really, really sweet and she explains everything really well. But anyway, she was talking about calorie deficit and just that's basically the only way to lose weight is a calorie deficit. I'm not saying I'm overweight by any means. I'm not saying that I need to lose weight. I'm just would like to shred off like a couple unnecessary pounds. And so she was like explaining a calorie deficit and stuff and just how to calculate it. And if you guys want, I'll link her video down below. She explains it really, really well for those who are just like getting in the health and weight loss kind of mindset, I guess. She explains how to calculate it. So basically, I don't know if you guys have heard of my fitness pal, probably because it's pretty big. Anyway, this is a, like a calorie tracker, whatever. And it always gave me only 1300 calories to eat every day. And that I felt like was like, oh my God, like this calculator gave me 2245 calories. And I'm like, that's so many calories. And like, I always think 2000 is 
is like average like like you should be eating 2,000 like just to maintain and so I'm like 2,200 I'm like kind of scared of it I am just gonna try my best not to eat processed foods when I don't need to it's hard having a boyfriend when all he eats is processed foods and stuff and I don't have my own groceries because I live at my parents house um, I'm gonna do a little bit of my internship right now um, I do have low battery so I'm gonna charge my camera while I do my internship and plus it's like boring stuff stuff like I guess I'll explain more when my camera is not flashing at me okay I just finished my internship for the day or like as of right now I just kind of wait until I hear anything back from my project manager and just to see if like he needs updates on things or like me to edit something um, but basically I finished all of my brand analysis stuff and now I'm gonna go to Q's house Q's my boyfriend if you're new he has this amazing espresso machine I'm not really familiar with coffee like the terms his mom just got her kitchen redone and they got like a coffee maker installation thing and it's just makes such good coffee um so we're gonna go over there and just enjoy a little cup of coffee and then i gotta go to the grocery store i'm kind of afraid to be like tooting around because it's so rainy and stormy but you know what we might just have to suck it up and be an adult oh my god it's pouring i had to like race to my car with like everything under my jacket because i don't want anything obviously getting wet oh my god it is so cold it's only 48 degrees outside it's so cold ah! i'm going to cues <laughs> Go get her, look at her. Harper. <laughs> what are you? What'd they drop? I have a shirt. They dropped a zip up. If you guys don't know me, I'm actually an ambassador for Seeger. Um, you should check them out. <laughs> Because I'm not, and hopefully if they see this, maybe they'll let me be. Seeger, if you're watching this... Nah, don't put that in there. Sponsor him, because he literally has all of your merch. This is such a cry for help. No, it's not. That's how you get brands. Okay, so this is what we've got. Fire. Okay. And then we go over to the fridge. Then we take creamer. This is the coffee, whatever. I put kind of a lot of creamer in. That's just how we do it, folks. Give it a nice stir, see the color. Needs a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. Mine was way better, guys. This, this is way hard. I would feed my dog that. What? <laughs> <laughs> guys, he's mean to me, all right? But we've been new. Fucking me. You guys, it is 3.50. I had class at 2.30, like I told you. I didn't vlog it or explain it. I guess I already explained it in the beginning of the vlog, but I didn't <laughs> vlog it because I, like, fell asleep during it. I don't know why, it's just this weather makes me just want to be asleep. I did all my stuff for today. My day is basically done. I'm having dinner over here with my family. I might run to Target a little bit later. Feeling pretty grimy for some reason. I don't know whether it's just because I'm cold and like I have goosebumps constantly and stuff. And like I just feel like grimy. I have like ketchup and stuff on my sweatshirt. So. Mm. Ugh, do you guys ever feel like this is honestly the weather? I've been like on TikTok. I've been on YouTube I'm currently watching Kylie Jenner and Kourtney Kardashian's makeup look. I guess I need to start doing like homework and stuff Pretty soon I have a test tomorrow in my marketing class. Um, it's just my midterm So I have that at 8 30 a.m. Tomorrow morning So I need to study for it and stuff which I was doing a little bit at Q's house But I need to keep with my grind
one thing came out with many. I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I'm excited about it. Let me make sure my doors are locked. So the first thing and the only thing I went in there for, which I like online ordered, was my face wash. This is the CeraVe Acne Foaming um, Cream Cleanser. This shit is the bomb. I think I'm breaking out right now because I'm not using it. Which kind of sucks because like I'm dependent on it, but I don't care because it's so good. And I feel like it's kind of hard to find these days. I don't know why. I think CeraVe is just like popping off right now. This is the best cleanser ever. I used to be a slut for some Curology, but then I needed, I felt like I needed to switch things up a bit. Let me tell you, I don't regret it. The next thing I got, um, jewelry cleanser and, or jewelry wash, jewelry cleaner. I saw this on TikTok and the one that like she showed on TikTok was actually sold out, I think. Um, so I got this. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. It's, it cleans jewelry regardless. And then I got the, it's a 10 Miracle Silk Leave-In. I've had the Miracle Leave-In product, but I wanted to try this silky one. There have been creepy people at this star this Starbucks is on my mind. Creepy people at this Target. I don't know what's going on. Um, I think I'm gonna get traffic like all the time. Then I got this Revolution makeup brush. It's this brush, and I've seen a lot of people use it for like tanning, like getting your neck and stuff all evenly. And then I ran out of my shampoo. This is also a goat shampoo. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo with sea kelp and argan oil. This stuff has made my hair grow so fast, made it so much healthier because I was blonde and it was damaged as and now it's healthy. Last thing I got, um, body wash. Cause I had one that was like the coffee one of this and then I ran out and then so this is just the coconut miracle oil body wash. And I really like the like rainbow-y part of it. I'm kind of wanting like tea for some reason. I just feel like tea would be so beneficial to my body right now. Okay, I'm gonna get a medicine ball and then I gotta go home. I gotta crack down on some homework. We'll see where the night takes us. My battery is blinking at me again, so I have to go charge it when I get home. Thank you so much for waiting. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Can I get started for you? Can I get a venti medicine ball, please? Not a problem. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Hi, guys. So, it is about 9.15 p.m. I have been working, working, working so hard. I've been finishing basically all my schoolwork. Um, I have some things due tomorrow for my account planning class. The account planning class is, like, truly advertising in, like, the advertising world. I don't really want to go straight into, like, advertising. I don't want it to go... I don't want to go into an agency but this class is obviously just needed in order for me to graduate and get credit. So this is um, all about account planning and like account managing and stuff like that. There's many different terms for that kind of field. So we have to create a blog, which I've always obviously created, but we have to make our first blog post, our first two blog posts, which is about me and 10 skills needed to become a blank, like your dream job. I either kind of want to be a social media manager, marketing manager, influencer relations. Definitely want to work with influencers. I don't know why. Hi. I've grown up being an influencer and I think it'd be really interesting to see like the other side of it you know if that makes sense with that being said I'm gonna finish up I have time tomorrow to do it but I just want to get as much as I can done tonight and then I plan on watching Breaking Bad with my boyfriend tonight because this is our every night ritual our ritual I guess like tradition Okay, guys. Here we go. 